Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Shed Scrappers. So today I am back with another layout for the Erica Rose Creates design team. And today I am using her brand new cut file for August, the Ice Cream You Scream cut file, which is absolutely adorable with these um, ice cream cones and popsicles. So I do not really enjoy backing these cut files. So I will a lot of times try to come up with a way to use the cut file but not have to back all of the little little openings. So what I decided to do for this one was use the packaging or smushing technique. So I use Sundance from Close to My Heart, Speckled Eggs, um, from Distress Oxide, I used Avocado, from close to my heart and then maybe candied apple from um, the distress oxides and I just smushed it all um, I left it on the mat so that it was all in place um, and so that I wasn't like trying to find pieces um, if that makes sense I wasn't a hundred percent sure how I was going to use it once I put it on the page um, but I figured I would come up with something. So the papers I'm using are either Say Cheese at the Park or Say Cheese Magic. Um, those two collections I get mixed up. The color scheme is quite similar. Um, I think this might be Magic though. I think that's the one that I have the most of and is the newest. Um, so I decided to use that diagonal stripe paper as a border. That was going to help me kind of incorporate all of the colors. Um, and it should be no surprise at this point that I am using a cut file for Disney. Um, I think this is at least my third, if not fourth, um, project for the Erica Rose Creates design team where I am doing something Disney related. Um, this here is the Tropical Serenade uh, that I got at Magic Kingdom. Oh my goodness, was it delicious. Uh, I will definitely be getting it again. Uh, when I saw the cut file, I was a little nervous. I didn't know what photo I was going to use. I have documented quite a few of our ice cream photos. Um, and so when I was going through back, back through my camera roll, I saw this and figured, you know what? <laughs> Here goes another Disney layout. Um, so I peeled off the cut file and you can see it okay on the white background paper. I do wish I would have um, done more smushing. Uh, I think I got scared of it because it just looked a lot on the larger pieces. But now that I have those thin edges of the cut file off, I wish I would have um, added more ink to that. Um, so just something I would have gone back and done differently, I guess. I did want to add layers. I wanted to kind of enlarge, so to speak, my photo. So I went to my six by six paper pads and found two different papers uh, from Echo Park, but the colors, I mean, you can't really go wrong with red, but that kind of teal aqua paper matched really nicely with the the border color, I guess. Um, and so I did trim those down just a little bit, and I am going to end up layering them behind the cut file here. Um, at first, I did not tape the cut file down and or glue, and that was kind of an issue later on. I make it work, but I should have glued it uh, all the way around. I just have a love-hate relationship with my tacky glue, um, so I was really hoping to get away from using that, um, but with as thin as the edges are, I needed to use glue and not tape. So I did, or I am going to pop this photo up on foam tape. Um, I don't place it down yet because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to embellish. Um, and I didn't want to commit and then limit my embellishing, I guess. So what I'm going to do is take the middle pieces of the popsicles and I'm going to glue them or place them in all of the popsicles. Then I am going to take the inside pieces of the ice cream cone and I am going to do the same. But when I glue 
those down, I am actually going to pop both the ice cream and the cone up on foam tape. Um, so I don't make you watch all of that because it was time consuming, but I will use my tacky glue to glue down the popsicle pieces and then just my foam tape to tape down the ice cream cones. Um, while I guess the reason I realized not gluing the cut file down was an issue was when I placed the inside pieces of the ice cream cone down in the inside, the cut file kind of rose up to the inside pieces, if that makes sense. And so it really did not give the layout any dimension whatsoever. So now that all of my ice cream cones are on the layout, now I get to kind of have fun embellishing. I did pick some pieces out ahead of time. So that really helped kind of speed up the embellishing of this layout. So, you know, I wanted to bring in Mickey somehow. And so I found that black and white polka dotted, um, half a Mickey and decided that I wanted to include that. I also have some flares from Scrap and Happy Studio that were perfect. One was a cup of Dole Whip and the other one said treats. Um, and so I wanted to include those as well. And then there was a little ice cream cart. Um, I had two options. One had balloons as well. And then the other one was just an ice cream cart. And I chose to use the one that was just the ice cream cart. Uh, I realized at this point that I did not have a title. And so I needed to come up with a way to title my layout. Um, and so what I decided to do was use the ice cream cones um, as kind of a base for my title. And so I added yum across the page and down the page and those alphas I believe are from the discover and create collection from Vicky Booten uh, they've been on my desk and I've been using them a lot lately but they are colorful and kind of wonky and just really fun to use uh, really fun to kind of piece together a title so once I do that, I am going to commit to the placements of my embellishments and get those taped down. Um, I think just the finishing touches of this layout, I am going to use some Bella Boulevard stars. I am actually going to finish a package of them, which is so fun. Um, it's always an accomplishment, I feel like, when I finish a package of something because it doesn't happen very often. Um, so I am going to eventually get to that. <laughs> Have to kind of make sure that all of uh, the pieces are pop propped up, I guess, properly um, with foam tape because the photos popped up and the ice cream cones popped up. And so with that ice cream cart, I had just to add a few um, small pieces of foam tape to get that to stick. Oh, I forgot I added a whole nother cluster. Silly me. Um, I was going to use that circle. It says the yummiest, but then I felt like it was too much with my title of yum. Um, and so I decided not to use that, but instead try to figure out how I can use that Mickey Mouse ice cream cone. Um, kind of try to figure out what to add to that. I, again, had quite a few embellishments picked out ahead of time, um, but you know, there's always that, I don't know, you're always in search of that perfect embellishment. And that's kind of how it was with, um, adding that ice cream cone at the top. What else can I use to kind of make that a cluster? Um, make it so it's not just hanging out by itself. So um, I have just a, I don't know, one sheet out of two sheets of these little puffy um, stickers. And I decided just to add a small phrase up there. Um, I'm getting to the end of that package as well, which is always exciting. I actually transferred all of the stickers to one sheet instead of the two. Um, so here's where I'm just kind of going to finish the clusters off with these stars. I definitely will be adding these to my cart next time I place a 
place an order because the colors, I have been surprised at how many layouts I've been able to add these to. So again, probably added one, two, one or two too many um, stars, but I really just wanted to finish off that uh, package. But that's going to finish off this layout. Definitely check out this cut file and so many more. In addition, uh, Erica Rose Creates um, has a bunch of scrapbooking kits as well. And make sure you use the code Melanie for 15% off your order. I will have her shop linked down below so you guys can take a look at what she has to offer but i hope you guys enjoy and we will see you next time bye guys